Good day Aquarius and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for February 12th to the 18th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known? What lessons need to be learned? Eight of Clubs, Two of Spades, Ooh, Ten of Diamonds, always a good card, and the Seven of Hearts. Okay, you know, Seven of Hearts seems to come up for you guys quite often. Uh, but this is in your gen this is in your general energy for the week, like the whole week. Um, you need to stop. You're doing too damn much. You're doing too damn much either for other people or you're doing too damn much at work, you know, doing extra stuff that you don't need to be doing. Uh, and your priorities, your own priorities are suffering because of it. So what you need to do is you need to cut that fat. Cut that fat off that isn't your responsibility, isn't your priorities and let it go regardless if people get angry about it or not and you need to rethink your priorities focus on number one focus on you and focus on one priority at a time uh, finish that priority and then go to the next priority and finish that and then you know once you have your own priorities in, in check you can go back and help other people or do more at work or whatever it may be uh, but for right now you need to stop you're, you're just doing too damn much you know and your priorities are hurting from it at the beginning of the week uh, it looks like you're gonna need to make a compromise um, this can be in love but this can be in other stuff too <clears throat> especially with the uh, seven of hearts there uh, this could be making a compromise with somebody so that you can cut some fat off um, it's neither good or bad. Uh, it just is what it is. Uh, but you need to be very aware and make sure that you don't get the short end of the stick. But on that, if you see that you're getting the short end of the stick, when you confront the other person, uh, don't come at them all angry and pissed off or whatever. It's only going to complicate things because the thing is, this person might not realize that they gave you the short end of the stick. And I know some people would be like, well, I know they're giving me the short end of the stick. Still, don't let that emotion get to you, okay? Come at them calmly. You know, be like, look, if we do it this way, then I'm going to lose out this way. Just like that. Don't come at them like, hey, what we trying to pull over on me? Well, you know, uh, keep it calm, keep it simple. And by doing so, most likely the person will go, regardless if they did it on purpose or not, they will go, oh, I didn't realize that or something like that, you know. And then you guys can move on and actually uh, make a peaceful compromise. Um, in the middle of the week, uh, looks like you're going to have some broken communication. Ooh, this could be, this could have to deal with the compromise, uh, this broken communication. Uh, perhaps, you know, uh, things don't get resolved, you know, right away. Uh, and what you need to do is you need to seek out the wisest person that you know, uh, based on the subject matter. Uh, say the subject matter was about math. You would want to find somebody that you know that's really good at math. If it's uh, about relationships, you want to find somebody that is really good at relationships, you know, um, and they will help you uh, communicate better with this other person or persons uh, and whatnot. But I, I do, I kind of feel like this has to do with the compromise. Perhaps this compromise is going to take a minute to really uh, work out, you know. Uh, at the end of the week, though, you have a chance to make it rain. Yeah, you have a chance to be successful, to get much abundance in finances. Uh, but the thing is, is that you have to leave your comfort zone. You have to go through some unpleasantness in order to receive the success. And again, I feel like this might have something to do with uh, the Seven of Hearts and you doing stuff for other people. And maybe you not doing stuff for other people uh, has you leaving your comfort zone. 
Like perhaps it's unpleasant to you or perhaps by leaving people and cutting off that fat, it's going to be unpleasant to some extent, but still you need to do it uh, because it's going to lead you to success. Uh, I feel like this is going hand in hand with your priorities. I feel like if you take your priorities and, and not, you know, um, do a bunch of stuff for other people, uh, I feel like, you know, going through that unpleasantness, because I feel like you're one of those people that like to do things for people, uh, but by going through that unpleasantness, working on your own priorities, that's going to lead you to success, that's going to lead you to abundance, you know, uh, some sort of wealth and whatnot, so definitely, you know, go through that, go through that unexpected, uh, un unpleasant thing, uh, you know, and leave your comfort zone. And I mean, leaving your comfort zone can be as little, also can be as little as, you know, uh, somebody asking you uh, to go golfing with them and you don't really like go golfing, that would be unpleasant. Uh, but by going with them, uh, it may lead you to success in some way. You might meet somebody or something that can help you become successful. But I really feel... For a lot of you, it is about you working on your own priorities and somehow by cutting off that fat, that's what the unpleasant part is for you. Uh, that's just how I feel. Uh, let's see what the uh, tarot cards have to say. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. All right, and that card is the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Pentacles is a man looking at his work, and he's devoted to his work. You know, he will finish, the, he will get the job done, and I feel like this is you. Again, I feel like you will, you know, think about your priorities, priorities and work on your priorities uh, to get that success and whatnot. I feel like you will... Uh, finish it up and I also feel like you're going to finish up whatever it is that you're doing for other people or the extra stuff you're doing at work uh, so I feel like this is kind of saying hey don't worry if you leave if you leave this fat behind for a little bit, bit to work on yourself to you know do things for yourself and and get yourself some success and whatnot uh, you will return back to this fat to, to this person persons or work and finish what you started uh so there's no worries there you you will finish it you'll finish it all uh but again like i said it's time to to think about yourself for a minute so there you go i hope this resonates and i hope it helps in some way and if it does hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy